about real quick the first part of what we're doing in our house for Advent this year. We are doing the truth in the tinsel with my boys. I found this a couple of years ago when my oldest son was still just a baby and Elf on the Shelf had just gotten really huge that year. It was a huge, big deal. And I wanted to do it because it looked like fun. Um, something to let us talk about Christmas every day in December. The only problem was that I already knew that we didn't plan to do Santa with my kids. I mean, at that time I only had my oldest son. Um, but I knew that we didn't plan to do Santa, so it didn't make any sense to do Elf on the Shelf, obviously. So I started looking for alternatives to Elf on the Shelf, and I found the truth in the tinsel. This is um, an Advent experience for little hands, it says. So here, this will be better to show you. So here's day one, and the subject, the topic, I guess, is light. Um, then it gives you the Bible verse to read. All of them are fairly short. They're short enough to read to my boys. Um, I, I will tell you how I do all this in a minute. And then um, instructions for how to make the ornament for that day. And they, she does have um, some templates for what, how do I say this, for you to cut back on this. So if you were only wanting to do like 10 crafts, she has a list of what 10 days she thinks are most important to cover. But anyway, we do the whole thing and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, but yes, instructions and material list for making handmade ornaments, doing crafts with your kids while you talk about Advent and the Christmas season. So after you read the verse and the Bible passage and you're making the ornament, it also has, you know, discussion points to, to get yourself started. I'm getting better at this, but I, we did this for the first time last year when my son was two and a half. My oldest son was two and a half and I was not good at it then. I did not know how to have an educational discussion with him. So this was really helpful. I'm better about it now. I understand it. And this is what has helped me learn too. Um, and then there's also an additional activity at the bottom that you can do if you want to do more, if they're still curious or if their attention span hasn't run out yet, which is probably not true for me. So anyway, speaking of which, my boys are still both really young. My youngest is almost two and my oldest is only three and a half. So I don't feel like they're quite ready to do these actual crafts. I think that my older son could do the craft ornaments, um, but really it would end up just me being me doing most of the work. So I'm going to give it one more year before I start doing the actual crafts. In the meantime, you can also purchase these templates from Truth in the Tinsel that are just cut out ornaments for the boys to, or for your kids, that everyone has all boys, hello, um, for your kids to color. So that's what I do, and these are some of the ones that I have cut out already. I'm just lazy and don't do them all at the same time. I have two sets because I have two kids, um, and yeah, I just let them color these while I read the verse, and then I read the talk about it section and try to cement the important ideas in their head. So we haven't done today's yet. It's the ninth, and... Um, the, the topic for today is Joseph. So they'll be coloring a picture of Joseph. We'll talk about what role Joseph had in Jesus's life. And yeah, that will be that. Then when I'm ready to hang these up, I just snip a little hole. I have a hole puncher, but it has been lost to the abyss that is, to, that is toddlerhood. Um, I just snip a little hole in the middle here and tie it up with some ribbon. And I'll show you how far our truth in the tinsel tree has gotten so far. So here's our beautiful tree so far. Um, like I said, we only have eight days done so far, but I have 16 ornaments on here because I have two kids doing it at the same time. So you can see that um, they're, they're quite the artists, but I have several Christmas trees in my house, so I don't mind um, devoting one tree to their interestingly colored ornaments. So that's just a quick overview of Truth in the Tinsel, which is the main component of what we're doing for Advent this year and what we did last year as well, actually. I do plan to continue doing it every year. I think it's great. 
it is an easy way that's already set up for me to sit down and talk to my kids about the Christmas story every single day in Advent until it's just, you know, drilled into their minds. So that's one idea if you're trying to think about what to do for the Christmas season or for Advent if you celebrate Advent. Um, if you want to do it in addition to Elf on the Shelf or as an alternative to Elf on the Shelf like me. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye, YouTube.